Hello, hello. In this video, we're going to focus on table derivations, specifically the simplest physical table, table derivation, which is going to spin off ta temp tables from our data model, which we can then pass into iterators and revisers. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm here in table derivations.xlsx, and I'm in the derive PT tab. PT stands for physical table. Uh, so with this derivation, all we do is ask for a physical table in the data model by name. We don't even have to wrap it in a function. So if we have our physical table in the data model over here, this is the mini table. If we just ask for the mini table, we'll get all the visible rows, okay? So not necessarily all the rows, just all the ones that are currently visible. So let's assume that we have this filter context up here. Now, right now it's empty, right? But what I wanna do is I wanna simulate the revision process. Now, I'm gonna show you a, a, a more sophisticated way of doing this later, but for right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell you to revise right here, and when I do, we're just gonna drag this temp table into the filter context to simulate revising the filters, and then we'll go derive our table. Okay, so uh, go ahead and click on uh, right there to select those two cells, and all I want you to do is go ahead and just drag that up, and I'm gonna drag it right about here. Right, I'm gonna put it right above shift. You don't have to, anywhere in this orange box is just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it, okay? And so now, uh, with that filter in the filter context, my view of the data model changes, right? Especially with respect to this table derivation, which is a respectful derivation. So it pays attention to the filter context. So to simulate that, let's click up here where it says shift and let's filter down to just lunch, okay? So now that that's the case, my filter context has a filter for shift equals lunch, if I go ask for the uh, mini table, right, that table right there, I don't get all the rows, I just get all the visible rows. In this case, it's gonna be all the lunch rows. So let's go ahead and simulate that. So go ahead and select this cell to that cell, Control C to copy, click here under the hours, right? And what I want you to do is hold down both Control and Alt and hit V for paste special, right? Because what I wanna do is I wanna just copy the values and the number formatting. I don't wanna uh, bring the, for the, uh, the format of the cells around with it. So. You can either uh, click on values and number formatting or hit the U button and then just hit OK. Okay. So we've simulated deriving that temp table, right? We just got the lunch rows because we previously revised the filter context to have a filter for shift equals lunch. Okay. Let's revise the filter context again. So here we've got a filter for shift equals dinner. So go ahead and select this. And so what I want you to do is notice that this filter that we're about to revise with is for the shift column. And we already have a filter for shift equals lunch. So in this case, what happens? This filter is going to override the previous filter. So go ahead, grab this, and drag it and drop it right on top, right on top of the previous filter, and let go. It says, there already, there's already data here, do you wanna replace it? We're gonna say, okay. And now we've got a filter for shift equals dinner. So with that in mind, let's simulate how uh, this der table derivation would see the data model. So go ahead, click on this little filter icon and change it from lunch to dinner, okay? Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the same derivation. We're gonna derive the same table again, but we're gonna have a different result because we have a different filter in the filter context. Now we're just looking at dinner. So go ahead and select this cell to that cell. Control C to copy. Click right there under the O in hours. Hold down Control and Alt and hit V to pay special, right? And click on this option right here, values and number formats, right? So we can make it look like a temp table. And go ahead, hit OK. Right? And now, we're using the same derivation because we have a different filter context, different set of filters in the filter context, we just get the dinner rows. Previously we got the lunch rows, now we get the dinner rows. Okay, let's revise the filters again. This time we're gonna add a filter for dish equals burger or salad. So go ahead and select these three, right? those three cells right there. Now notice, uh, this is for the dish column, not the shift column, so this won't replace the existing filters, it'll just add to it. So go ahead, take these cells and drag it right about there. I'm gonna drag it right above the dish column. You don't have to, but I'm going to. And let go. Boom. Okay, so now our filter context has a filter for shift equals dinner and a filter for dish equals burger or salad. So to simulate what this table looks like to these respectful derivations, let's go ahead and filter this down to just burger or salad. So click right here. So we want, uh, let's uncheck select all. We want burger and we want salad, but no pasta, right? Gluten-free living, okay. Go ahead, hit the OK button. And if that's the case, we've gone ahead and filtered down to just the rows that meet both of those conditions. So with this filter context in place, let's go ahead and derive this table right here. Do this derivation. We want all the visible rows of the mini table, okay? So 
we're going to go ahead and select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Click there underneath the O in hours. Hold down Control Alt and hit V to pay special. And either click on values and number formatting or hit U, it'll select it for you. And then go ahead, hit OK, right? And now when we derive that same, use that same derivation, we got a different temp table uh, respecting just the filters in the filter context. Okay, I think you see where this is going. So now we want to revise the filters again. Now we want a filter for shift equals lunch or dinner, right? Both of those values. So let's go ahead and select these two right here, right? Now we already have a filter for shift, so this will replace the existing filter. So go ahead and grab this and drag it and drop it right on top of shift dinner right there. And let go. It's going to say, hey, there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? We're going to go ahead and hit OK. OK. And so now our filter context changes. And if we're thinking about the respectful derivations, we need to change the way that those respectful derivations would view this table in the data model. So the filter for dish equals burger or salad is in place. That's just fine. Right here where it says shift, click on this little filter icon and go ahead and also click on lunch because now we can see both lunch and dinner. Go ahead, hit OK. All right. So now uh, with that filter context in place, let's go ahead and do that same physical table derivation, just asking for the table by name. OK, so we're going to select. Ah, we're going to select that cell to that cell. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours. Control Alt V to paste and click on values and number formats and go ahead, hit OK. And we derive that temp table, right, which we could then pass to an iterator or to a filter revisor. OK. So let's go again. Now we're going to add a filter for units equals one. OK, so go ahead and select these cells right there. And notice uh, we don't yet have a filter for units, so we can, we're not going to replace anything. We're just going to drag this up here. Right. I'm going to drag it up. Now, normally I like to put it right above the column, but for right now, I'm going to put it over here just so these things are right next to each other. So go ahead and drop it right there. OK, so now uh, we need to change. We've changed the filter context. So we've added a filter for units equals one using that revision process. So now we need to change the way that this physical table looks to our respectful derivations. So let's go ahead and click on this units column and uncheck two and three because the only visible rows are ones where the units equals one. Go ahead, hit OK. And we just get those four rows. I need to scroll down a little bit. OK, so now I'm going to go uh, get all the visible rows in the mini table. That's what this derivation right there does. It's our physical table derivation. So go ahead, select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Click under the O in hours, control Alt V to pay special. Click on values and number formats and click OK. OK, and we've derived a temp table given the current filter context with those filters in it. OK, so uh, we're going to revise the filters one more time. And this time we're actually going to revise using two temp tables. So we're going to add both this and this to the filter context to change the way our physical tables look. OK, so let's start with this one. Select those cells right there. Now notice we already have a filter for units, so this will replace it, right? So go ahead, grab this one and drag it right on top of units, line it up right there. And when you let go, it says there's already data there. Do you want to replace it? We're going to hit OK. All right, good. And now uh, we want to do the same thing with this filter for dish equals burger or pasta. So let's click on these cells right here. Right now we've got a filter for dish that says burger or salad. We want one that's burger or pasta. So let's click on this. And we're going to drag these cells right on top of the existing filter to replace it. OK, there's already data there. Do you want to replace it? We're going to hit OK. And boom, now we need to change our filters, right? So here uh, under units, let's change that one first. Right now we only have a filter for one. Now we can see both one, two, and three units. So click on units right there, select both two and three. We can see all of them. Fantastic. And for our dishes, uh, we used to only be able to see burger and salad. Now we can see burger and pasta. So let's change this filter right here. Change the way this physical model looks to our respectful derivations. So let's uncheck salad and check on pasta. Hit OK. Now these are the visible rows given the current filter context. So now we're going to derive a temp table using this derivation right here, which is the physical table derivation. Go get me all the visible rows in mini. Right? And based on these filters, here they are. So let's select them. Control C to copy, click under the O in hours, Control Alt V to pay special, click on values and number formats, and hit OK to simulate deriving that temp table given the current filter context. So I think you can see here uh, A, how uh, this physical table derivation works, and you can also see how darn important it is to consider what filters are in the filter context when we're doing that derivation. 
Okay, uh, I will see you next video.